Bam. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be doing a Q&A and an apartment update for you guys. This video has been highly highly requested um i have gotten a lot of new subscribers so of course a lot of you are asking some of the same questions questions excuse me here and there so i just decided to do this video and i asked you guys on my community tab and under um my last two vlogs so i'm just going to answer the questions that i got and then i'm just going to get straight into the update so starting with the first question um I got someone asking what am I doing for the holidays literally today is Christmas I'm filming this on Christmas Day so Merry Christmas to you all or happy holidays or whatever you celebrate happy birthday Jesus so yeah that's that um I went and spent the holidays with my family um that vlog should be out soon <laughs> so yeah that's that and then I've been getting a few questions about school so I got how long do you have to go with nursing school I got besides working okay yeah how long do I have and I got basically how nursing school is going just about nursing school so nursing school I withdrew <laughs> in August my program I only have 11 months left that's how long the program is so I withdrew in August because I had a horrible, horrible, horrible breakup that took a toll on me completely 360. I was the one who was basically blindsided and everything and everybody obviously knew about me and I didn't know about anything. So that's just that. Um, with nursing school, with an accelerated program, I that week when all this popped off, I... um. I think I had like three exams and literally just I could not focus I could not study I could not do anything but cry me and my feelings so I'm just like that just tumbled me down so yeah um definitely nursing school nursing is still always in my heart um as far as my career goes because I know I'm probably going to get those questions um definitely still want to be a nurse I also would like to either be a dietitian I have classes that goes towards a dietitian um, and I also want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be my own boss. Like eventually I do not want to be working in a hospital or clinic or anything of that nature. Like I want to be my own boss. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm going to start out with selling the lashes. I have those back there. Um, just kind of put that on the back burner right now while I'm focusing on other things. So, and I'm probably going to start selling hair. So just going to keep that like that. But nursing school is definitely still in my future. <laughs> um, I also withdrew because of COVID. Um, this was the first semester, of course, that everybody kind of had to adjust. And learning an accelerated nursing program and trying to do that over a computer was just not my style. Like I had to sit in class and, you know, kind of learn that way. Um, listening to a recording with no face no nothing just words does not flow right with me so that's that on nursing school but definitely nursing is still in my heart um someone asked about do i work like two jobs where am i working at they hear me say different things like that yes i work at the hospital as a nursing assistant and i also still work at big lots so i'm still helping people like i'm there literally by their side 24 7 so um, I'm glad I still actually get to really jump into the field and see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis or a night-to-night -night basis because I work overnight. So that's that on the school and work thing. Um, someone, I'll put it on the screen because I can't pronounce names, <laughs> said, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have an elder sister who passed away from breast cancer i have another older sister and i have another older well i have an older brother so it's four of us she also said how long have you been natural what hair products do you use i've been natural i will say i haven't had a relaxer since i was in high school so like 10th or 11th grade in high school so that's probably like <laughs> seven years now seven eight years give or take so yeah 
I'm 22, if y'all want to know that too. I'm a Leo, birthday, August 1st, period. Um, yeah, so that's how long I've been natural per se. I'm not one of those naturals who don't flatter on their hair, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Clearly, I flatter my hair. Clearly, my hair is blonde. So that's the type of natural I am. And what hair products do I use? I really haven't gotten into many hair products. My battery's about to die. Hold on. Okay, so back to what I was saying. <laughs> um, the hair products that the hair products that I use is anything by Shea Moisture, like any of their products, and also um, Cantu. I think Cantu has alcohol in it, but I use their leave-in conditioner. I really like that. Um, I really haven't tried any of the natural products, honestly. Like my hair just loves Shea Moisture, and I mean, why well, fix it if it isn't broken? So yeah. And she also said, what kind of nurse do I want to be? I honestly don't really know what kind of nurse I want to be. I say right now I want to work with children, but until I actually do those, you know, clinicals and take the classes and stuff, I'm not sure. I think I am going to be on, um, no, I'm not, never mind. <laughs> so she also said, besides work and school, what do you like to do in your spare time? Besides work, because I'm not in school anymore, um, I really don't really have time for anything since, um, I work all the time. Um, I play with prints. I like to read, go out with friends, have fun. I mean, I'm up to do anything, honestly. Like, I'm not a boring person. Like, I would give anything a try, except for food. <laughs> um, I also like to, I don't know, spend time with family. Like, I would do anything. It's just, I'm comfortable being in the house chilling at home watching youtube watching my netflix show something like that i'm a real chill person i'm a homebody so if you do get me out i'm down for whatever basically but in my spare time i just chill like i'm an introvert i don't really like social gatherings or anything like that like i'm not the bitch that be out in the clubs partying trying to do this and that trying to be seen not me so yeah <laughs> um bella asked tips on how to budget your money monthly, plans for the future, and are you going to buy a house? If so, when? Also, NYE plans. So, tips on budgeting my money monthly. Um, since it's the holidays and stuff, I haven't been on a budget plan, but I am going to start. I put a few on the screen that I'm thinking about doing. It's like saving $5,000 by the end of the year. You can even do $10,000 if you got money like that. Or you can get up to like 500, 600, just to have that money sit at the end of the year to go into the new year not broke. So I'm gonna do one of those money saving challenges. Um, I also have my budget planner book. If you link, if you go down into my description box to my Amazon store, I have the budget planner that I use. Um, basically, I am gonna to try to start the envelope method. Um, I've been looking into that a lot. I don't really like to have cash though, so. I have two checkings account. One checking account is usually where everything comes in and out at. And my second checking account is basically my savings account. I have it labeled as that. I didn't want to open another, well, I didn't want to open a savings account because I don't really want restrictions on my money. Like things happen in my life unexpectedly all the time. So I didn't want to get a um, savings account. But honestly, I feel like I am going to open a savings account and then kind of just literally use that as savings and then my checking account that's my savings account i may use that for like a savings account but like money if i need it then like i'll have it but i will not touch my savings like at all so yeah my savings account that's my checking account um my rent comes out of there that's the only bill that comes out so yeah i'll probably use that for something but honestly with saving that's how i do i kind of just I'm either going to split my bills in half and then pay half out this check, half out the other check, and then just, you know, put back what I got. And it's really hard to stay on a budget, but, I mean, you got to get it done somehow. Plans for the future. I'm going to do a um, 2021 vision board, so stay tuned for that. Are you going to buy a house? If so, when? Honey, I don't know when I'm going to buy a house, but definitely want a house. Um, I am going to move into a townhouse next year. So we're going to get into that on the apartment update. So yeah, NYE plans, I'm working at the hospital. Are you still working at Big Lots in the hospital or just the hospital? Are you finished school? That was life with Nari. And uh, yes, I work at Big Lots. Yes, I work at the hospital. No, I have not finished school. In the works, though. So. <laughs> 
how's nursing school going I already answered about that and what kind of work do you do right now I already answered that so that's basically all the questions I had they're kind of all the same so going into the apartment tour that I know everybody well the apartment part so going into the apartment update that I know everybody want to know about um, like I said I'm going to give you all an apartment tour I'm going to clean up and hopefully have that out by Sunday or Monday of this coming week so sometime by the end of December um another thing I wanted to say the reason why I'm moving because I've had this question um a few people asked because they seen my last vlog so I will be moving my lease is up in May about the end of the month in May I'm going to probably be applying for the townhouse houses um April <laughs> I mean come on now um so yeah I'm moving one I want this specific townhouse and I just got my eye on it I really love it and yeah so the reasons why I'm moving is because I'm in a one bedroom I don't have any space the townhouse that I want is a two bedroom two bath and it has a dining room pantry like the works so I just feel like I don't have any space to record or like when I was in school to do my homework because my bar is literally my desk like my workstation that's where my printer is and this my living room is my recording area like I want a dedicated room for my guests for my schoolwork for my YouTube channel like that room is just going to be for that and also I mean I, I love this apartment honestly but it's just like I need more space so like I was saying in that other blog I'm in the living room right now then I step over four feet I'm in the kitchen step over two more feet I'm in my bedroom like it's just I feel like I'm tired of looking at the same thing every day and I know that sounds crazy I don't know how to explain it so you guys can understand <laughs> but with the townhouse like I can go upstairs chill in my room the extra bedroom I can go you know come back downstairs like it just feels like more space and more open and more airy so like I'm not stuck in one spot if you get what I mean and I'll have a little backyard so Prince can you know go around there do what he gotta do play have fun so yeah I just need more space and this apartment here does not have storage space my pantry is not storage like that's for food above my washer and dryer I have two racks that's my only storage in this apartment and I don't consider my I don't consider my closet a storage area because it's my closet it's for my clothes shoes I keep my suitcase in there and that literally takes it all up so how can I store things in my closet when it's you know filled with what's supposed to actually be in the closet so that's why I buy cubbies and all kind of stuff like that to have more space so yeah and what else did I want to say about the apartment um I had all this planned out and I can't think of anything because I know y'all gonna ask me questions um oh rent wise the townhouse is not even a hundred dollars more it's literally seventy dollars more than what I'm paying now so I'm like literally I can have a two bedroom two bath townhouse for seventy dollars more like why wouldn't I do that you know so rent really isn't going to be a factor clearly because I am working two jobs now um the commute is not going to be a hassle it's literally closer to my hospital job so that's a plus um really don't like that i'm not going to have all the eating places and stuff like that like i do now um but i will be closer to like more stores and stuff like that and the gym so yeah those are basically the pros of it um the cons i mean i wouldn't know until i moved there but i feel like i would really enjoy living there um also what did i want to say oh so about the apartment tour i'm going to give you guys an apartment tour but my apartment is not finished and it's not finished because i don't feel like i should put my time and effort into finishing this place when i'm moving literally by april because i'm not gonna i'm not i'm not even trying to be here in may so <laughs> i'm literally moving by may and it's like, why would I put all my hard work and time and effort into trying to make this how I want it when I'm going to be leaving, you know? So, about my living room, I'm really kind of indecisive. I wanted to change out my couch for a black couch, a sectional. 
um this is what i was originally going to get before i got this couch but this was kind of like a second choice couch honestly so that's why my living room table is glass and it's black because i think i want to go to a black couch so when you see the apartment tour and everything's not matching up or looking exactly right is because i'm not doing it anything anymore like i don't care um i'm probably going to change all my colors everything like that into the new townhouse so yeah this couch i was thinking about putting it in my youtube business room whatever you want to call it um but i kind of want to get a day bed but the day bed literally looks like this couch but in bed form and it comes out on the bottom so yeah and also about my living room i'm going to put in the tv stand that i want and then the tv stand that i have now you will see that of course in the apartment tour but i kind of want to give you guys a visual of what i'm trying to do and looking for so you can understand why my apartment <laughs> looks the way it looks in the apartment tour and i only have one bar stool i found another one but i didn't get it because in my townhouse i don't have a bar area it's literally i'm going to have to get a dining room table so i'm like why would i buy another bar stool and i'm not even going to be using it so that's that and what else i don't think there's really anything in my room um i do want two nightstands on either side of my bed um, i'm going to put in you know pictures and videos of that what i've been looking at on pinterest and stuff because i kind of want it to actually be a bedroom i'm not sure if i'm going to keep my vanity in my bedroom in a townhouse or put it in the extra spare room i think i may just keep it in my room because it's, it's not going to be a big deal because it's already going to be so much stuff in the extra room and about my bathroom i'm going to be changing that completely too so when you see i hope everybody watches this video before you watch the apartment tour um, i'm not putting any more effort into this apartment and i just told you guys the reasons I'm indecisive of what I want to do. I can't find what I want because it's all sold out. I want stuff from Ikea and Wayfair. And my colors and stuff is going to change. But I always do a dorm room tour, apartment tour, wherever I'm living. I've been doing this since 2016. So this is just something for me to look back on with my memories so I can remember, you know, to share with you guys too. So, yeah. Stay tuned for the apartment tour. Um should be doing it within a few days and it should be up by next thursday so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share and turn on that bell so you know when i post the video um hopefully i answered all your questions i know someone's going to ask something but that's basically the gist of it like <laughs> i'm moving that's that and my apartment isn't finished because i'm moving and i'm indecisive so that's that and I will see you lovelies in my next video. Bye guys.